Let's talk about money, your favorite subject. Suppose uh, $2,000 is deposited. So we have a $2,000 is deposited at 5.5% compounded quarterly saving account, savings account. Okay. Uh, how much how much is uh, total savings after, uh, say, six years? Question mark. How much interest is made? How much interest is made question so let's read it again just to make sure that it's a good question so we are putting two thousand dollars depositing it at an account savings account that pays 5.5 percent uh compounded quarterly and the question is how much do you have six years from now from the time that the deposit is made and how much interest is made so let's go to the Next page, what is it that we know? We know that the future value of an account, and this is not F times V, this is just one, one thing, future value, equals uh, present value, and this is not P times V, it is not, it's present value. It's the amount of money, in this case, $2,000 that you are depositing now, times one, plus r over n to the power of n t. Well, so we said that f is future value. We said p, uh, uh, pv is present value. Uh, rate, r is rate. n is how many times compounded how often compounded. And of course, this T is time in year. So for the end, for your information, if your money is compounded, let's say daily, we put 365 for N. If it is monthly, we put 12, 12 months in a year. If it is weekly, it is agreed to use 52. I know there's slightly more than 52 weeks in a year, but that's how our financial institutions work. Uh, let's see, of course, yearly is one and semi-annually, semi-annually is uh, two. All right, so now, uh, let's go to the next page and use this information. We said that future value equals present value times one plus R over N to the power of N times T. So future value, we are gonna calculate in this problem. Present value is $2,000, one plus rate, in this problem is 5.5%. Remember, a percent is a number divided by 100. So 5.5 divided by 100 is 0 0.055 divided by N. We said that is compounded quarterly. There are four quarters in a year. So four in here to the power of uh, four times six. Okay, I already calculated this particular problem. I have it in front of me. And remember, please remember with money, you always want to uh, round to the nearest penny. That is two decimals. So this gives us in a dollar amount of 
uh, $2,775.69. And this problem asks, okay, uh, this is how much you have, how much money you made in interest. Of course, you had $2,000 in the beginning. So $2,775.69 minus your original 2000, you made $775.69 in uh, interest. Okay, let's do another uh, example. So in this one, uh, let's say that you plan or somebody plans, uh, you plan to have $100,000, uh, let's say college fund, college fund for, for your baby or somebody's baby or for, for anything, for, uh, for, for a baby, for a newborn baby, how's that? I think that works for a newborn baby. So we have 18 years, let me put in parentheses. So we have, we have 18 years time. Okay, uh, time, and I should say from now, 18 years time. from now. So uh, T equals 18, okay. Switching back to blue color. And let's say that your bank, your bank is offering, is offering a saving account that pays 5.5%, 5.5% uh, compounded monthly, compounded monthly, not quarterly, monthly. So in this case, N equals 12. So how much, how much do you need to deposit now to have uh, $100,000 in 18 years? All right, that's a really, really good question. So let's go to the next page and uh, notice that now, um, we want to know how much money we need to deposit now. So we are not after future value, we are after present value. So uh, let's go to the next page. We know that future value equals present value, uh, one plus R divided by N to the power of NT. I know different textbooks use different alphabet, but this is the most common. Okay, uh, future value, we want it to be 100,000. That's our goal or your goal or somebody's goal uh, equals present value is what I'm after. I wanna calculate how much money is needed now. Uh, one plus, remember rate is a number, um, I mean, percent is a number divided by 100. So the rate given to us in this problem is 5.6%. So 5.6 divided by 100 gives me 0 0.056. Uh, N in this case is 12, why 12? Because we have 12 months in a year to the power of N, which is 12 times T, 18, okay. So now uh, what I can do, first I can figure out this value right here and then divide both sides by whatever that value is, which is going to be the coefficient of present value. So uh, PV equals 
P or present value equals 100,000 divided by this uh, one plus 0 0.056 to the power of 12 uh, divided by 12 to the power of 12 times 18. And uh, my calculator gave me to the nearest penny uh, $36,580.48 penny. So here it doesn't matter because it's money you can put equal sign. It doesn't have to be almost equal. Um, $36,580.48, not bad, you know, slightly more than third of money. If you put it now, 18 years from now, we are gonna have $100,000 at that particular account. Okay, um, let's see, let's do one, one more. Uh, let's say that this time you have, uh, uh, you want to, you need to have, um, you need uh, to have $50,000, $50,000, okay, um, in say one year. You need to have $50,000 in one year. Uh, and let's say that um, your bank offers your bank offers uh, interest or saving a saving account offers uh, savings account that pays, uh, let's say 5.2%, okay, compounded weekly. All right, so how much do you need? How much do you need? to deposit now to have $50,000 in one year. Okay, so let's go to the next page. We know that um, future value equals present value one plus rate divided by N to the power of N times T. So future value, we need to have 50,000. So present value is what I'm trying to calculate. Uh, then I have one plus, the rate was 5.2% percent number divided by 100. So in decimal is 0.052. Uh, we agreed that there are 52 weeks in one year. Once again, I know it's slightly more, but this is accepted in the world of finance. So 52 weeks in a year to the power of N times, in this case, T is only one, okay. And so uh, solve for present value. In other words, you can say that, uh, present value equals 50,000 divided by one plus uh, 0 0.052 divided by 52 to the power of 52 times one. So I already have that figured out and that is um, 47,000 40, 467.68, uh, let me check my number, 47,467.68, that's right. So 
But you know that one year is not too far from now. But what if instead of one year, you know, you still wanted to have $50,000, but this time you had, let's say, 20 years to wait? How much would you need to deposit? Well, then you would need to change this, uh, the T instead of one, then you would have 20, okay? And so this year would become also 20. And for 20 years, if you had 20 years to uh, wait, and I already that, did that calculation, I have it ready, and that would be uh, $17,000. $681.92. So as you can see, the more you weigh, you know, the less money you have to deposit uh, in the beginning. And so let's say theoretically, I know 50 years is such a long time, but let's say you had 50 years to wait. What would happen if you change this T to 50? So 50 in here and 50 for T. So now the answer would be only $3,718.51. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.